Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I want to talk about the simple fact that games that involve a lot of grinding are in trouble. And this is standard of basically any genre of video game, and that is the simple fact that doing the same thing over and over without much innovation causes a game genre to die, right? I think of two-dimensional platformers, right? You had the jumping and the platforming, then you added guns to it, and weapons and power-ups, and they kind of evolved to use RPG elements, and then the next step was 3D, and they failed with 3D innovation, so there's not too many 2D platformers anymore, you know, actual platformers, that are actually popular. I mean, of course, people still make them because, I mean, it's a 2D platformer, but there's not a lot of, like, innovation. It's not a leading genre anymore. There's nothing that's too popular in terms of something like the rise of popularity like i guess you could say the mario games back in the 80s and 90s or even smash bros like smash bros i think is the only 2d platforming type game that i can think of right now that's actually quite popular and grinding games are suffering the same fate now i think it actually comes down to more of the core of grind games which is grind games is doing the same thing over and over again and it's not the actions that matter so much as it is the reward whether it's a bigger house more money more loot better loot more skills something like that and i think that they can actually come back from this now a good example of this is actually no man's sky and that is that no man's sky made the grind matter right you got to make the grind matter and I think grinding games are kind of at a point where there needs to be more technology or they need to lower their graphics and focus more on the actual content of the game. So take, for instance, a game that got really popular, RuneScape. RuneScape used to be very popular. But think of all of the different actions you would do, right? Where you just click on stuff, mine, fill up your inventory, go store it, go sell it, go back, mine, sell, store, whatever, smith it. But what happened was... Not only was there a grind, but there was a friend component of you'd have your friends and you'd do stuff with your friends, right? And then like there was a bit of a competition going on or working together to achieve some greater goal. And, you know, World of Warcraft does the same thing. The Elder Scrolls Online, um, I'll get to that game in a moment. But, you know, that that's the natural, that's a good, that's a good thing. When it comes to the Elder Scrolls Online, you have all these storylines you get to complete with your characters, right? All these different little side quests and looting and talking to people and all these stories. And the problem with that is with those stories is it's kind of, in my opinion, poorly executed. Not so much on the writing side, but I think um, how much the story matters. I mean, really, you're just experiencing a story. You can't really, I mean, sometimes you might get to pick a side or two, but you can't really influence the story. And so it's a very linear story, and these characters, after a while, I mean, after a while in the same game universe, when you realize it's, oh, I have a problem, go do this. Oh, I have a problem, go do that. It's the same thing, you know. Not exactly the, the best in terms of caring about characters when everyone has a problem and you fix it and they become your friend, even though they don't give you anything, right? So I think on that, they kind of um, underperformed, but not poorly executed, I would say, as well as the gameplay just was not, didn't feel like it mattered right? You could pick a character, you leveled up the stats, so you did more damage to harder enemies that gave you better loot, right? That's the thing about grinding games. Some grinding games really miss the point of, um, you know, you, you level up your skills and the enemies level up with you. That's one of the things I liked about RuneScape was the enemies didn't level up with you. When you got to a high enough level, you could kill a guard, you could kill a unicorn, you could kill a scorpion, you could kill a dragon, right? Dark knights. When you leveled up to that point, and with No Man's Sky, I kind of see that same, kind of the mix of the storytelling is a lot about your story and a lot about crafting your story with a bunch of side plots. And not only that, but you get some of those things of, um, some of those concepts of when you get a high enough level, you can deal with this. So for instance, space combat, when you get a better ship, you can kill more enemies, right? When you get a better suit, you can survive in harsher environments, right? 
I, I can say from personal experience that from exploring like 20, 30 planets, not every one of those planets I could explore very well. And I will probably never explore because I didn't have the gear and it was so long ago. Now I got, you know, some radiation protection. I can go on radiation planets. I have money to afford the radiation protection. Keep recharging it, right? I have a freighter, so I can do the freighter missions, right? I unlock those. And it's, you know, it's taking the grind and making the moments in between the grind matter more. And I think that's the next step for the grinding type of games, the ones that really want you to chase the next level, gather the next material, right? I think Minecraft showed actually before its time minecraft everything you did mattered pretty much in that game you could grind for the diamonds but all the stuff you got during the grind for the diamonds also mattered right so that's why i think grinding games are today i think that's why they're in trouble because i can see the next step in innovation but minecraft started it 10 years ago or whatever, how long ago Minecraft started. We'll just say 2010. So eight years ago, Minecraft started it. The next game I can think of to do that was No Man's Sky. That's a long time. The Elder Scrolls Online kind of did that. Those are the three games that I think are trying this innovation and it's just not working. Just like 3D platforming, right? Super Mario 64 did great. And then after that, there were some good ones. And then it just went downhill until Shadow of the Colossus, and then we don't have any good other platforming games I can think of other than maybe Assassin's Creed. But with that, guys, that is my opinion on why grinding games are in trouble. And if you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. What's your favorite genre of game that has died because no one can innovate it? I want to know. I know mine is personally, mine is 2D platformers because I'm really good at them and I miss them. But I will see you guys in the next episode, stream, or vlog of whatever I decide to make.